and share my screen. Thanks, everyone. Welcome to uh, Google Season of Docs Mentoring. It's the office hours. Thanks very much. Here's what we've got for an agenda today. Uh, can everybody see my screen all right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, see, I assume we want to add pull request review as a topic. I apologize enough. I have not made any progress on it. The weekend was spent testing Jenkins 2.249.2 and other topics. Uh, do you want to talk about incremental delivery of segments further? Yes. Okay, and transfer of org admin, I think, continues as a topic. All right. Any other topics we should put on the agenda? Also, I'd like to ask Maki if there's any updates on the issue I was having with user group. Okay. Oh, oh, so I have another one, I guess. Um, should we have a, a Helm chart session with Thorsten Walter now that he's back? That's just an open question for the agenda. Okay. And uh, investigate. Great. Any other topics to put on the agenda? All right, then let's work through the agenda. Pull request ready for review. So again, Zina, my apologies, I have not reviewed it. I hope to review it today or tomorrow. So sorry that I didn't get to it yet. Uh, Marky, did you have anything you'd like to report there? I know that there's there's two PRs in, am I correct, Zinab? Yes, you are. Yeah, I reviewed one of them. I have not reviewed the second one. I will have that done today. Okay. Um, I'll also like to ask some, I forgot to add that to the agenda. I'd like to ask some questions regarding the structure of documentation. That's um, the second PR I opened. Okay. Right. Yeah, I saw that one and I was wondering if it was supposed to be like delivered first because it was talking about like being a framework versus the second or the first PR that was submitted, which was the installation guide. Um, right. So maybe. Okay. So would you like me to open up the PR? Is that that this one, the skeleton? Um, I have a Google Doc here. I think it will be easier. It will okay. be easier to use um, the Google Doc for the structure to explain. Would you like okay, to share, share your screen? screen? Yeah, I've just stopped sharing. If you go ahead and share your screen, we can take a look at the Google Doc. Okay, um, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so um, I don't know if you remember this Google Doc. Um, when I started working on installing Jenkins on Kubernetes, I created this to show the section where I'll be adding it on Jenkins.io. So I added additional content to this doc. That's what is in that pull request I opened. So um, for administrate, these are the um, initial topics we talked about. So what I did basically was to pick out um, sections from this um, proposed content and fit them into Jenkins.io. So um, for administering Jenkins on Kubernetes, I, I don't know if this is okay. I put it under system administration. Um, let me open Jenkins.io. That's here. Sorry.
so I see. Ah, there we go. Okay, now I'm seeing it. So the idea was to put it here at immediately below system administration as administering Jenkins on Kubernetes. See now, I'm afraid we're. Not, I'm not hearing your your comments. Uh, maybe others are hearing it, and I'm not. Marky, Kristen, are you no. hearing? No, I'm hearing not hearing it. anything. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, so we may have just lost her audio. So while she's getting back to audio, any of oh, okay. I assume she's reconnecting. Any objections from the two of you on on that approach, putting system administration for Kubernetes inside the system admin section? I don't Should, see a problem with that. I mean, right, the other alternative more consistent because if, okay. if that's where you're going for system administration, okay. to answer those particular questions, maybe it make more sense to put it there anyway. So. The, the other alternative that was on my mind and I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other is should that that should hello? oh hello Zena you're back great yes I am sorry okay so Um, as I was saying, I don't know if it will be okay here, optionally. Oh no, I think she disappeared. I think we may have lost her again, yeah. Yep, she's, she's dropped out of the, the participant list completely. So the, the other thought was, just like we have a using a managing Jenkins chapter and a system administration chapter and a scaling Jenkins chapter. Conceptually, we could have a Jenkins on Kubernetes chapter, but for me, my personal, I think somewhat preference was put the content inside system admin and inside installing for Kubernetes rather than having a separate top level thing for Kubernetes. I'm in favor of that. Okay, all right. I guess for me, whatever would just be consistent with how we have it for other groups. That that's what I would Right. Do. And and others, others, for instance, the Docker install directions are inside the install. The instructions on how to manage uh, pieces in Docker are inside the system administration chapter, if I remember correctly. Zina, you back? Yeah. Yes. I don't know, my network is kind of bad this evening, sorry. So we were just described discussing, I think your question was, should we use, put, put the system administration related content in the system administration chapter or somehow put yeah. it at a top level entry? Is that your question? Yes. And, and I think the, the consensus was that putting it inside the system administration chapter sounds really good to us. Would, does okay. that feel, does that seem sensible to you? And does that fit with how you'd like it to evolve? Yes, actually that's um, what I did currently. The pull request I opened, that's where I actually put it. But I just wanted to confirm um, Excellent. Very good. So, so we can review that pull request as is, and it's using that structure already. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. So that makes me even more guilty for not having reviewed it. Excellent. Good. Okay. No. So, um, Mark, that's the second pull request. The one you've not reviewed is the first one. The first one just has content of installing changes. I've opened another pull request, as I mentioned in the last meeting. Okay. Great. Okay. Also, for cloud providers, um, in the content on Jenkins, 
ago, I didn't really see um, something relating to cloud. I don't know. So I just created a different section for Jenkins on Kubernetes and put it on that, but I don't, I've not added that to the pull request. I don't know if that's okay or if there's some way else we can put the information for cloud providers. Okay, so I'm not sure I'm understanding the question. Is it that? Okay. Um, let me share my screen again. So okay. Um, okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so for this information here, um, cloud providers that are setting up CI CD pipeline and all that with EKS. So I was saying on Jenkins.io, um, I didn't see any existing section where um, this cloud provider information will fit in. I don't know, except if I missed it. So I'm proposing creating a Jenkins on Kubernetes session I'm putting cloud providers on diet, except if there's a better option, but I'm not sure of that. Okay, so so then the for me, cloud providers would be a system administration attribute. Um, so I would have expected okay. to be under system administration, but I'm okay with it top level as well. The is your I'm, I'm impressed that we've got anything to say right now about the cloud providers. I thought that the things that you had later in the document were just links to the documents that are provided by the cloud providers themselves on how to use Jenkins in their cloud. Um, yes, so I've not um, written on the cloud providers yet, but since, um, we spoke about the skeleton of the whole documentation. So I just thought it wise to just um, take the whole, the content as a whole, then subsequently we build um, the content under each section. That makes sense. Okay, so thank you. So this is, this again. is a... As far uh, as the placement of cloud providers, I, I mean, I think it could either go top level or in the system administration. I don't have a hard preference. Yeah, so that that's 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 where you've placed it is fine. So okay. it's and and the uh, that is a skeleton that's a placeholder and you'll populate yeah. it as we as we get more information or we might yes. Yes. offer the cloud providers, hey Google, if you would like, this is the place where you put your material. And this is yeah. good. I like that. Okay. Okay. So um, I think that's all the question I have on the skeleton. I'll just um, update the pull request as far as discussions. Great. All right. Okay. So then the, I think that answers the topic we had on incremental delivery into a larger structure. You've proposed a pull request representing the larger structure. Yes. The next topic then was the user group issue and more conversation and discussion. So, Marky, I think that one was where you had done some user group investigation. I'm sorry, I, I was multitasking. Can you repeat that? Yeah, so so there was a, a question that I think you and CNOP were investigating last week relative to something with yeah. user group. And so this is the this is the run as uh, uh -huh. and when Xenob runs it as zero, everything works because that's considered root. When she runs it as 1000, it is uh, running into a permissions error. I tried this locally. And when I switched the port numbers, I think it was between 
I can't remember. It was like 1024 and 1020, maybe. Uh, I got it to work. Now, when you switch the port Z knob, you still have the same problem? Yes. Hmm. Okay, keep that on my keep that on the list of my action items. I, I'm going to do some more looking into it. Now, Zenob, is this is this blocking your progress, or you're able to work around it and continue? Yes, I've I've found a work around for it. It's not. I just um, wanted to see if there is um, something, probably a step I missed or something, so I can update documentation if it's necessary, in case there's someone else that faces the kind of issue. But I think for now, I'm sorry. Okay. I think for now, just operate uh, on using zero. Yes, and, I've, and I've gone past that and I'm good for now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Next topic was the, a possible helm chart session with Thorsten Walter. Now that he's back back from vacation, uh, I guess the question is is to you, Zinab. Are you interested in a session with Thorsten, or was the helm chart session that that Marky provided already sufficient, and the, an additional session with Thorsten won't help you much? Well, um, the session with you was really helpful, but I don't think it's hard to have another session with Justin. Great. So, um, how about let's see? The the last time we we attempted that, I tried to schedule a time that worked for my schedule and completely failed. Do you want to reach okay. out to Torsten and ask him? because you and he are both in relatively nearby time zones. He's in Germany, you're in, in Nigeria. And so you may more easily be able to find a time that works for the two of you. Okay, I'll do that. And if, if you need access to the uh, this Zoom account, or if you need me or someone else to host it during during an odd time, just let us know. Yeah, I, you can okay. you can either bring myself or or Mark. I think both of us have access. Okay, thank you. Great. All right. Next topic was transfer of org admin. Marky, anything you want to report there? This is still this is still open. I know Oleg said he will take care of it this week. Great. Okay. And I have one more item that I forgot to put on the agenda. I'm going to be out of the office uh, Thursday and next Monday. I'm going to go play with my grandchildren. Nice. It is wow. nice. Grand grandchildren are the best. They are absolutely the best. All have fun. There's nothing better than playing with grandchildren. Nothing. So, <laughs> but that means, Marky, will, will you be available to run this session, Marky, through the 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 CDF Zoom account? Yep. Okay, great. And likewise for next Monday? Yes, I can. Excellent. Thank you very much. Sorry for my being out, but I'm actually not don't that apologize. sorry because I get to play with my grandchildren. Yeah, don't apologize at all. All right. Any other topics we should review? That's all for me. All right, thanks. Recording will be will be posted about an hour from now. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Have a good evening. Good day, Thank all. You.